those puppy dog eyes can soothe your nerves, NBC Bay Area's investigative reporter Candace Wynn has a warning for you about perusing for a pet online. Many people adopt, but some surf the internet looking for specific breeds. What they may not know is puppy mills may be lurking behind websites and social media accounts. From Yorkies to Maltese, this Instagram account depicts perfectly posh pets linked to a business touting happy, healthy bloodlines and fur ever friends. She just doesn't feel well. Janice, who lives in the Bay Area, says it's not what it seems. She's breeding sick dogs and she doesn't care. Janice is talking about the person behind the pictures, a puppy seller out of Georgia named Monica Wong. Well, I wanted to get a companion for Coco, so I saw Blanco's picture on there. Several messages and a few videos later, this white and black Yorkie Terrier Blanco was on a flight and then in the arms of her new mom. Blanco was lethargic, listless, didn't have a blanket. After a trip to the vet, Blanco's medical records show the puppy had suspected parasites, a hernia, and four holes in her skull. It was devastating because they told me that if her conditions got worse, then I should put her down. According to two animal experts, including one with no connection to Janice's case, mm -hmm. Blanco had a congenital condition. I'm not the only one that she's deceived. I purchased two puppies from her. They came to me with severe diarrhea and full-blown adult ear mites. I'm just cast out. She wasn't going to make it through the night. These two women also say they adopted sick puppies from Wong. We're not revealing their identities or Janice's last name because they say Wong cyber bullies customers who share concerns publicly. My name was everywhere on Facebook. She made my life a living hell. We reached out to Facebook. After they reviewed the case, Facebook says it disabled Wong's Instagram account, citing bullying and harassment. I even contemplated suicide. I'm serious. It was so bad. As bad, these alleged victims say, as Wong's treatment of animals. In November, inspectors issued her a violation for humane care. Our team obtained video from that county and state inspection of Wong's Georgia business last November, one month before she sold Blanco. From the outside, the business looked like a closed Brewster's ice cream shop. When Wong opened the door for inspectors, they found 46 puppies inside and feces in almost every enclosure, according to inspection reports. Some of the dogs were imported from Russia, Hungary, and Ukraine. More than half were not vaccinated. I got him from Hungary. I think it has um, a virus. I think it's like a herpes type virus. At the time, documents show Wong didn't have a valid breeder or business license. Okay. So we do have to have a it's a puppy mill. Georgia's Department of Agriculture, which oversees the state's commercial dog breeding industry, issued Wong a stop order. She's hired an attorney to appeal the case. It's not ethical to do this. Wong declined our request for an interview. In an email, she says Blanco was healthy at the time of the sale and other customers had other issues. She denies allegations of cyberbullying and accuses Janice of online harassment, which she denies. What's your biggest worry for Blanco right now? That, that she'll die. Last year, California started forcing pet stores to sell dogs and cats only from shelters. Pet buyers tell us an unintended consequence of that has been more people shopping for pets online. Adoption experts say currently there's no way to track that. With the investigative unit, Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Candace. If you have a story for our investigative unit, call 888-996-TIPS or visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.